the paint's almost drying that door, re almost ready for a second coat. But I wanted to show you the disaster I almost had. And I had a gallon of paint that I haven't used that much. And it's probably two years old, year and a half old or so. And when I went to start mixing it, I had it, a good thing, I had it on a t-shirt and had it set down there in case I dripped any little bit from mixing it. And I looked back and the bottom edge, it's a metal can, it's got a metal bottom on it and the bottom edge started leaking after I mixed it. Just a little bit of stirring at the bottom and the bottom must have had a little rust in it or something and it started leaking. I, luckily I have some plastic bags here, I've wrapped the bottom of the can, it's still leaking I put some plastic bags underneath this t-shirt. I would have had a big mess on my hands if I wasn't prepared. Luckily I had plastic with me, I had my t-shirt with me. Um, so whenever you're doing, doing paint, you're going to have to be careful of that. Um, what I'm going to have to do, I don't want to throw this paint away. It's almost a full gallon. It's still really good paint. And it's matched up to match all the doors and trim casings baseboard, all that. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to leave it in plastic. I'm going to put some plastic bags and bag it all up. Hope that it doesn't drip too much. And then sometime today, I'm going to have to go to the paint store and I'm going to get a plastic bucket, a one gallon bucket with a lid. And I can put this paint in that. And uh, then I can save my paint. But, uh, you know, if you think you're going to just do, here's the tip I wanted to share with you. If you just have a little touch up to do or something, I've seen people mix right out of the can, carry the can around with them, uh, you know, over the carpet and think they're real careful. If you, if your can starts dripping, you are going to have a nightmare cleanup. So be prepared when working with paint.